Computer networks are often differentiated based on the mode of connection, like wired or wireless. They are categorized into different types depending upon the requirement of the network channel. For example, on the basis of geographical location and the data to be transmitted. Hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to miss an update from us. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for this session. To begin with, we will look at what is computer networks. Moving forward with different types of computer networks available in a network channel. Then we will look into one of the most used network channel that is LAN network. Then MAN network. As for the end, we will look into WAN network. Let's move forward with the first heading that is what is a computer network? A computer network refers to a group of networking devices, for example, computer system, switch, router, or hubs connected to each other through a central unit to share hardware resources and information services. The mode to connect different devices in a computer network can be based on wired or wireless medium. It depends upon the requirement of the user and the availability of network channels. Now let's move forward with the next setting that is different types of computer networks available in a network channel. There are different types of computer networks available to choose from which also depends upon the need of the user or the network channel. On this basis, we can differentiate into four different types, where the first is personal area network, that is PAN, which as the name suggests is used in personal area to connect devices like mobile phones, personal computers, etc. The next type of network is local area network, also known as LAN. This area network is used to connect multiple devices across different buildings or multiple devices in a single building. And the next computer network is Metropolitan Area Network, also known as MAN, which connects multiple LAN networks within it. As for the last network, we have Wide Area Network, also known as WAN, which covers locations that are not easily available through wired medium. For example, different parts of states are connected to each other using Wide Area Network. In this session, we will look into local area network, metropolitan area network, and wide area network. Let's move forward with the first, that is local area network. The local area network or LAN is used to connect devices that are available in a limited range or small geographical location, as it does not cover large locations because of hardware limitation. The devices that are connected in this computer channel use multiple protocols for proper and efficient exchange of data and internet services. The data exchange occurs from a server device that acts as a central unit and is passed on to the devices that are connected in the network channel. Let's take a look at some of the features of local area network. The data transmitted in the network that is LAN network is relatively higher in comparison to other network types MAN and WAN because it covers a small geographical distance so the speed of data transmission is very high. LAN uses private network addresses for network connectivity as the exchange of data and services takes place in a closely lit channel which decreases the error occurring rate and also provides much better security. Let's take a look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of applying LAN network. For advantages we have, it has a single control unit which is used to store data and information and can be used anytime. 
transferring of data and information becomes much easier and much faster in LAN networks. As for disadvantages we have, data security is compromised if the LAN admin decides to steal data and information. As for the other disadvantages, it requires constant administration for continuing data services and distributing hardware resources in a LAN network. With this, we have completed the LAN network part. Let's move on to the next, that is MAN network. The Metropolitan Area Network or MAN is a network type that encompasses network connection of an entire city or connection of a small area in a country. The area covered is less in comparison to WAN and faces moderate network traffic due to the large location it covers. The exchange of data occurs from one LAN network to the other LAN network and this case is looped. Let's take a look at some of the features for metropolitan area network. The metropolitan area network covers a large geographical area and is also used as an internet service provider by many of the local services because it provides high data transmission rate. It also applies many network devices for smooth data services and is connected through telephone lines using wired medium to provide high internet services. Let's move on to the advantages and disadvantages of using MAN. It applies fiber optic cable for high transmission and much better security in comparison to LAN network. It also uses full duplex method for data transmission that is data exchange occurs simultaneously. As for disadvantages we have, it needs a good quality hardware resources and the cost of installation is very high. It also needs an experienced technician to maintain and provide much efficient data services in case of MAN network. Now let's move on to the next heading that is WAN network. The wide area network or WAN is designed to connect devices over large distances like a global network that is the internet. Because the wide area network covers a very large geographical area. For example, connection between different states or even between countries. It uses wireless medium as a connection mode. For example, network towers and satellites. It also can be termed as the connection of multiple LANs or multiple MANs. Let's take a look at some of the features of wide area network. Wide area network uses satellite medium as we already saw. The satellite medium is used to connect multiple network towers, which in turn provide high speed data connection for the devices in a network channel. Whereas the data transmission rate of a wide area network is in comparison to LAN and MAN very low because it uses wireless medium in most of the cases. So the speed of data transmission is low and it also covers a larger distance. So it often faces data errors and loss of information. Now let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of applying WAN network. WAN network uses multiple network towers to connect numerous devices to be interconnected with the internet. It also covers a very large area to establish multiple connection between different parts of a country and also connect different countries as well. Let's take a look at the disadvantages of applying WAN network. The chances of an error occurring in a WAN network is very high due to the availability of different types of network channels, network devices and different modes of connection medium. The initial cost of setting up a WAN network is very high as it needs very experienced technician to work on and requires hardware resources, example satellites, network towers which are very costly to set up. With this, we are completed with a session on different types of computer networks. If you have 
any questions regarding the topic you can ask them in the comment section thank you for watching Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.